Okay, group. So we are on our mixed practice number one, um, lesson three here. So it says match each correlation with the appropriate scatter plot. So I would say let's start at the one that's maybe the strongest, um, maybe closest to like a straight line. So probably between these two, um, I would say this one's probably a little bit closer. So this is negative because it's going down from left to right and it's pretty strong. So strong negative, we would say graph one. Our next strongest, and this is positive, this is going up, is the bird X here, graph three. So strong positive would be graph three. Okay, and then here are our weaker graphs. Um, this one I would say is probably more of a positive trend um, and this one's probably more of a negative trend um, so our positive moderate um, would be two and then our moderate negative would be four so number two here it says match the following correlation coefficients or R values to the appropriate scatter plot Okay, it says some of the lines of best fit are sketched. You may want to do the same on the ones that don't have this, the line of best fit. So if you want to go ahead and draw the line of best fit, um, we can. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the strongest. The strongest would be the R equals negative one. Um, that is basically perfectly a straight line and it should be going down from left to right. And that should be right here this graph right here, r equals negative one there. Okay, so we're done with that one. Our next strongest is this one here. This is the closest to one. This is a positive. So we want the one that's positive. So that's positive. This one's positive. So I would say this is definitely the one that's closest together. So that would be our 0.87. Okay, and then um, our next strongest is this negative 0 0.75. That's going to be negative. So let's see, our only negative option here is this guy right here. And then next, 0.63. So we have these three left. It looks like to me... The closest ones together are, is this guy here, 0 0.63. And then we kind of get farther away with these. Um, these are a little less condensed than this guy. So we're going to give this guy the 0 0.38. And this guy will be the 0, which is the weakest graph. Okay. And then on number 3, it says, as the age of a car increases, its value decreases. Which scatter plot best represents the relationship? Okay, so if you look here, it says as the age increases. So as this goes up, as the age goes up, right, it gets bigger, the value needs to, needs to come down. So we know um, it's not going to be this one because that's positive. These two here are kind of like, there's no really great indication of if they're positive or negative. But this guy right here makes sense, right? The bigger the, or the, the older the car, the less the value. 